at the beginning of the spiritual exercises, St. Ignatius has us contemplate how deeply we are loved. At the end of the exercises, he returns to God's love for us in the contemplation on divine love. Four times in that meditation, four times, he poses a simple question. What return can I make to God for all that God has done for me? The answer, he suggests, is a wholehearted surrender into God's loving embrace to entrust all that we have and all that we are into God's loving care. This has come to be known as the Sushi Pay Prayer, or the Take Lord Receive. To surrender control of our lives and to put everything, everything in God's hands is for most of us well, scary. Even good Pope Benedict said as much when he visited the Jesuit Curia at the beginning of his papacy. If Pope Benedict or any of us focus on what we're giving up, it's frightening. But if our focus is on God and God's love for us, then the gears of our hearts are greased and are grasping for control of our lives more easily slips away. St. Ignatius would have us remember all the gifts, all the gifts that God has given, that God literally gives himself to us, that God labors for us like a mother in childbirth, that God's love shines down on us like rays of the sun or water from a fountain. When we grow in the deep awareness of how much God loves us, then the prayer of surrender becomes not words on a page, but the deep, deep desire of our hearts. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, my entire will, all that I have and call my own, you've given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace that is enough for me. Amen.